Come on, Tony, forget it, man. Let's just take the bus. Come on, Nikki. Come on, let's just try a few more. I feel lucky. No difficulties? Of course not. the girls, huh? I mean, they're gonna think we stood them up. Don't worry. They'll get over it. By the way, I told you, I feel lucky tonight. You know, Tony, if we'd have taken the bus, we'd have been there already. Hey, hey what did I tell you, huh? Now what? Uh, I don't know. What? How long does it match my shirt? Huh? You drive me crazy, you know that? And how the hell are we gonna get this thing out of here? Well, tickets right here. Like a message. Take me, please. <laughs> you understand that? Come on, get in the car. Stop! You stop there! Oh, geez, watch it, Tony. She's got a gun. Hey, it's okay, lady. <laughs> or 19 years old. It was Friday night. And on Friday night, when you're 18 or 19 years old, you forget about the rest of the week. You've got a car, a friend, maybe a couple of girls, and the weekend's never gonna end. Figure of speech, huh? Not for this boy. Whatever Friday meant to him, Monday isn't gonna come. Where is he? 
Nick Perna, 19. One witness the attendant upstairs. Yeah, did you see anything happen? Nobody heard it. Didn't even realize there were gunshots. A couple of seconds later, our car goes tearing right out of there, smashed right through the gate. Did you get any idea on the car? I got the plates. I'll give it to Stevie, then. Stevie, I'm gonna take this down. YXT362 Blue Sierra Rental. Anything else? As soon as you find out who rented, it'd be a good idea if you find out where he is. Hey, got it. Now, uh, Colby. The dead kid's wallet with names and addresses once you get in touch with the family. Oh, come on. Well, it's your turn. What's the matter with you? It's his tooth. He doesn't want to go to the dentist because he's afraid. Talk to the parents. Get a list of their son's friends. Whoever drove away in that car probably was with him. Yeah? OK, there was another car. It was a tan sedan. Went right out after the other car. Uh, the attendant didn't get a make, plates, anything on that one. Though. We're getting all the brakes, aren't we? Yeah. Freddie, I want you to pull all the records on this current equipment. We'll get an angle on what he was up to. Yeah. If he was up to anything. Could have been a ripoff. Yeah, the place is littered with machine gun casings. Looks like someone's starting a war. Could be drug related. You better get in touch with narcotics. I didn't know anything was going down. That kid's name did not ring a bell with him. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going to ring too many bells on this one. What? Okay, listen. Uh, Nick Perna, 19 years old, graduated Central High, had three priors. All right, let's hear him. At 14, he stole a bicycle. At 16, he vandalized a teacher's car. It was his Latin teacher, let the air out of her tires. And at 17, he was booked for creating a disturbance at a rock concert. Well, it sounds like Frank. Is that all? Could be the Latin teacher. Maybe she was gunning for him. Well, it doesn't rule out drugs. It doesn't rule out anything. Yeah, it doesn't help us a hell of a lot, either. Did they identify him yet? Yeah. Colby, why don't you get somebody to look after that tooth? Yeah, yeah. You know, he's right to be concerned about dental surgery, Lieutenant. I've read about cases where a little slip severs a nerve results in half the patient's face being paralyzed permanently. Somebody shut him up. Okay, fine. On the other hand, if you don't do anything about it, the infection turns into an abscess, eats away half your jaw, you gotta get fitted for a prosthetic device. Freddy, shut up. Colby, what is this? It's that list you asked for, some of the dead kid's friends. They were decent people, Kevin. His father took it real hard. All right, you guys do half, and we'll do half. Johnny Vespa, Tony Demelli, Jim Cuddy, Arthur Morelli. Arthur Morelli? Pleasant surprise. What are you guys doing here? Arthur Morelli. What's with the Arthur Morelli? Mm. What do you guys want? Your name came up on a list, Whitey. Oh, man. What? No kidding. What, Fortune 500, yeah. huh? Chambeau, do me a favor, huh? Don't bruise the grapes. Grapes, this stuff's probably made out of prunes. What do you know about Nick Perna? What do I know? Well, I know that somebody shot him. I know that he's dead. How's that? We know he's dead, too, Whitey. He was a friend of yours, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. What was he into? He was into nothing. He was just a kid, all right? Just a kid out of the neighborhood. That's all. Come on, why you don't get hit like that for no reason? Exactly. So you explain it to me, huh? So who was he working for? Look, what did I just say to you, huh, Jambone? I told you he was just a kid. Now, look, you're the cops. Why didn't the hell you tell me who killed him? All right, all right. Sit down, sit down. Let's see if these names ring a bell, all right? Johnny Vespa. No. Uh, Tony Demelli? No. Jerry Bianchi? No. Mr. Perna gave us a list, Whitey. A list of his son Nicky's friend. And your name's on it, too. Look, now you're gonna help us or not? Look, what are you gonna do? Huh? You're gonna get him unkilled or what? Look, Is that how you're gonna who help? Who was in the car? I don't know. Was it a friend? No, I don't, don't know. Two guys know, I don't Whitey. Know. Look, you guys know more about it than I do, okay? What do you think the odds are that whoever killed Nicky is also looking for his friend? Look, I already know that, all right? And I'm telling you right now, I can't help you out on this one, okay? We are looking to help this kid, Whitey. Look, just We are trying to save his life. Speak up. Are you sure? Working. Where'd you find him? You want to hear working? This is working. Bureau of Motor Vehicles, seven car rental agencies, Bureau of Narcotics. Records, and Vice. You applying for a job? Looking for a weasel. Any particular weasel? 
Yeah, uh, Don Weasel or something, also known as the Weasel, and known to narcotics for trafficking in narcotics. And known to vice for his vices. That's the guy. You know that car that ran out of the parking lot tonight? Well, he rented it this afternoon. Hey, keep your coat on, Muscles. You're coming with me. Oh. What was that all about? Forget about her, big boy. <laughs> She's too short for you anyway. Mm -hmm. You've been, I've been looking all over for you. Come on, get inside. Hello, oh, man, I went by your place three times. Where the hell were you? Did you hear what happened to Nikki? Oh. Yeah, I heard what happened to Nikki. I heard it on the street, the news, the cops were all over my back. What the hell are you guys up to? Nothing, nothing, don't tell me nothing. I'll kick your butt all over this place, man. What happened? We had a couple of dates. We're gonna get a car. Cars, dates, I don't want to hear about it. What I want to hear is what the hell happened. Nothing. That's what I'm telling you. We're gonna take it just for a little while. What, are you going to date? You're gonna steal a car and you're gonna bring it back? You're out of your mind. What the hell's the matter with you? And what kind of a kid is my sister raising, huh? It's bad enough she's got me for a brother. She's got an idiot son. Hey, listen. If you want any help from me, if you want any help from me at all, you better start telling me the truth! Well, I'm telling you, Chief! Well, you tell me again! I went to open up the door, and all of a sudden, this, this lady comes running at us, and uh, she had a machine gun or something. No, 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 no. She just I opened up my eyes. Shut up! Shut up! You're dealing dope, man. Oh, I, I see it know. in your eyes. You're dealing dope. Oh, You're right now. Don't lie to me! Don't lie to me! I'm not. You're dealing dope, and you tell me I'm right not. now! I'm not! <laughs> all right, man. I don't know why, but I'm buying it, all right? What'd you do with the car? Oh, I ditched it. You ditched it? Great. Did you check to see what was in it? In it? In it, Tony, what the hell was in it? People don't run around protecting their cars with machine guns unless there's something important inside it. I mean, the car was up. There had to be something in it. Whatever the hell it was, I don't want to know. Great. There could be anything in that car. There could be a million bucks sitting in the trunk. Where is it? Oh, no, no. No way. I don't want to go near just, it. Oh, just relax. You just show me where the car is. I'll check uh, it out. Look, I can't, I can't find out who's after you unless I know what they're after. <laughs> the one? Yeah. How'd you get it started? The keys were in it. Well, let me have them. I didn't take them. You didn't take them? All right, wait here. Just wait here. OK, I'll be right back.
need this. You guys. Oh, man, this is guns, man. This is heavy duty. You know what I'm telling you? This is what she had. Look, Tony, you just get home, all right? Just get out of here. That's what you killed Nikki with. Shut up, all right? You weren't here, and you weren't with Nikki. You were at home by yourself she all night. You killed Nikki. Just get going. Get out of here. Get going. And stay at home. Someone's coming. Please be Weasel. Please. Maybe it's the Weasel. Go inside. Please go inside. Damn. What do you think? should go after the guys that were shooting at me. Hey, for all we know, they were doing a public service. Very funny. She talks tough, you crack jokes. Hey, that's not all he cracks, wise guy. Just keep him off me. I'd like to do that, Weasel, but he's got an impacted wisdom tooth, and he's in a very bad mood. Talk to me, Weasel. Maybe to make it feel better. What am I going to talk about? Me and Buddy was on our way home. All of a sudden, these cats jump us. You were talking to those guys. What were you talking about? Excuse me. Maybe they thought me and Buddy was going to rip them off. Now we're getting somewhere. Did you and Buddy rip them off? No. But they thought you did. What did they think you were ripping off? Who's Nick Perna? I have no idea. He was shot tonight. Send him some flowers. It's in the car you rented this morning, funny man. Didn't think we knew about that, did you? Why did you kill him? Are you crazy? I don't know Nick Perna. I didn't even kill nobody. Oh, his chase is making my day. Kevin? Yeah. Right. You got something? Stevie and Colby caught up with him. He had some people with Uzis chasing him. Kind of small world out there. Either that or we got a gun collector's convention in town this week. Maybe we should have a little chat with this guy. Uh, Kevin? Kevin. OK, thanks. Thanks for passing it on. Um, that was a uh, homicide mid-north. Uh, Nick Perna's father was just killed. Automatic weapon. How the hell did they catch up with him so fast? It was on the news. Somebody else is looking for that same kid we are. What's the burner do to you? Nothing. He must have ripped off the car. I don't know. What was in the car? I don't know. What was in the car? Guns! What kind of guns? Mine! A crate of Uzis. It was supposed to be a switch off. Somebody ripped off the car. I don't know anymore, man. What was in the other car? I already told you. I don't know. Buddy set it up. Why don't you guys step off a minute? This guy's got a real memory problem. Junk, all right? Some junk. All right, you find out about this. Who set it up, where it's going, where it came from, where the guns are going. You heard the man, Weasel. Oh, am I in trouble? No kidding. A whole bunch of guys looking to kill me because they think I ripped off their guns. I got another bunch of guys looking to kill me because they think I ripped off their drugs. So you got me waiting to take your bar because you ain't asking enough questions. Thank you. 
Hi. I just talked to him a couple of hours ago. Couldn't understand why anybody'd want to hurt his kid. Nice guy, construction worker. What the hell's going on? I don't know, Tommy. I don't know. Hey. Like animals they are. I hear her screaming at him. This this woman, this she devil. She she screams at him, and then they're shooting him again and again. Get in. Now listen up. Nick Perna's father was shot tonight and he's dead. What? Well, listen, I gotta get over there, man. I can't wait. Wait, wait a minute. Here. Hey, you got any idea who this other kid is? It is time you opened up. Look, Perna's father gave us a list of his son's friends, and your name was on it. Okay, so it's a good bet that they got the same names out of him before they killed him. Look, I know that. I know that, Jim. But what the hell do you want from me, though, huh? Hey, this, this other kid, whoever he is, that they're looking for, you are not helping him any. Now, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, the kid's name is Tony Demelli. All right, Tony. Demelli? Yeah, All right. He's my nephew. He's your what? He's my nephew. Oh, great. Well, where is he now? I don't know, Jambo, but I want to get one thing straight with you guys. If he cooperates with you and gives you some help, you guys got to help him out, all right? You got to find him a safe place where you can put him. Yeah, how are we going to protect him? We can't find him. Where the hell is he? I don't know, but take it from me. I mean, the kid's probably freaked out somewhere. Look, I mean, Nicky Perry was his best friend. Look, will you get it through your head they're looking to kill this kid? Look, I know that, and I'm telling you right now, if I knew something, I'd tell you, all right? You have one thing, huh? What? The car. The car and guns. All right, that's it. There it what? is. What? What? The car, man, that's it. Check it out. The trunk. What about it? The trunk's open. When I left, I closed it. Now it's open. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, easy. One of them's gone! Damn it. Tony! Tony, you here? Come on out! I got a couple of friends here that are gonna help you out. Tony, please, come on out. Don't do anything crazy, okay? Whitey, you should have told us before. Now he's running around with a gun. He's looking to get himself killed. Uncle Brian, he's got to be around here somewhere, okay? I told him to stay put. I'm calling it in. There's no catch. Hey, 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 big man, you don't like the service weasel, take a hike. No. Come on, close the door. It's all right. The service is great. What do you mean, nothing? Nothing, nothing. We got nothing on the guy that Kobe and Stevie shot. We got nothing from the dental plates, nothing from the face, nothing from the prints. What about the car? Oh, well, it was rented to the late Joe Oberant. The late? Yeah, he died 10 years ago. I don't like the way these guys are covering their tracks. Too damn professional. Yeah, well, now you're thinking that, James. Am I in the wrong office, Kevin? Does this look like narcotics to you? Yeah, well, me and your boy Freddie been running this stuff through down to Interpol, and uh, it's looking pretty interesting. It's always pretty interesting when you mess with it. Hey, hey, come on now. What happened to interdepartmental cooperation, huh? How about you scratch my back and I scratch yours? Sounds obscene. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, right now I need my back scratched. I got it. They're all members of a terrorist organization called the Red Liberation Army. And these are just in from Interpol. This is Hans Bohm, 29. Well, he was 29. He's the corpse. This is Eric Seeding, 32. And this is Gita Honecker, age 26. Now, they are all from affluent European families. Affluent. Yeah, rich. 
What are they doing over here dealing drugs? Yeah, well, the beat's having a bake sale to raise quick cash. I mean, these guys are moving heroin in from Bangkok via Amsterdam. They use the contacts, low overhead, high profits. It's the only way to fly. These guys are plugged into the entire international terrorist scene. The Bader Meinhof gang, the uh, Red Brigade, the PLO, even the Japanese Red Army. These guys are all over the map. They're, they're bombing at the uh, army base outside of Stuttgart, the uh, NATO installation in Belgium. You know, at one point they were actually in custody in Athens, but they got freed on some kind of a hostage exchange. Now, normally they get their guns in Belgium, uh, but their contact there was arrested a few weeks ago, and that dropped them into our laps. That thing doesn't have their home address and phone number, does it? You can't beat the technology, man. Yeah, but there is one note from the Interpol agent I talked to. He says that when they began, they were all very ideologically oriented. Uh, the Das Kapital Communist Manifesto, Little Red Book. But they haven't been talking too much about ideas lately. They seem to be into it for the killing. Nice people we're dealing with. What's the problem? Where are the guns? We need more time. There is no more time. The ship must sail tonight, with or without the guns. You will not sail without the guns. I need 24 hours, that is all. What if there are more problems? 24 hours. The guns will be here. people will not be very happy. If there are more problems, it will be very bad for you. If that is a threat, tell your people I don't threaten easily. you, man. Did you make sure nobody follows you here? Did you think about that? Did you think about anything? You brought the cops, man. Yeah, I brought the cops. Don't whip out on me, all right? Who the hell was I supposed to bring? Who do you want, Mr. T or somebody? How about the people that killed uh, Nikki? Would you like me to bring them up so you can blow them away? Hey, you really let me down, man. I had two people out there that were gonna help you out, and what did you do? You split! You don't understand. He saved my life, for God's sake. <laughs> oh. Look. What do you want me to do, Tony? I mean, you want me to call your mother? Huh. No. You know what happened to Nikki's old man? You want to stay here a couple days? I wanted to take the bus. What? And I talked him into taking the car. Always talking him into stuff. It was my fault. Hey, come on, come on. I mean, it wasn't your fault, all right? 
It was an accident. It was an accident. I mean, you're stupid. I'm not denying that. You're really stupid. But what it comes down to, I mean, is you just picked the wrong car. You know what I'm saying? But, but you got to know, man, you're into this thing so deep right now that there's nothing I can do for you. You got to let my friends help you out. I mean, I don't care how long you think you can stay here. Sooner or later, they're going to get to me, and then they'll get to you. Well, just let me stay here for a little while, huh? I mean, just for a little while. Hey. OK. But I'm telling you right now, I don't want to see any more stupid plays by you. And you're going to do everything I tell you to do, right? And for God's sakes, don't you ever wave a gun in my face again. Kevin, are you sure you don't mean to hit the switch? No, don't touch the switch. I know what I'm doing. It's going to fall. It is not going to fall. It is going to fall. It is not going to fall. Ah! Well, lucky it didn't fall. Do I know my man or do I know my man? You're betting on me. I'll call an electrician in the morning. Well, I said I will fix it, and I will fix it right. tomorrow. Hello. Maybe that's Whitey. Have you got a lead on the kid? No, I'm sorry, we're closed. Yeah, bye. He's running scared. Now, I'd be scared if I had wackos like that running after me. Not just wackos, terrorists. It's the same thing. I don't understand it. How can you go around killing innocent people in the name of some ideal and have any ideals left? Who says that they do? Well, they must be fighting for something, or they think they're fighting for something, and especially people like that. I mean, they don't come from oppressed, desperate, starving countries. They have good educations, good families. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, they probably feel guilty for not starving. Maybe they just haven't had it hard enough. Well, I think all of us with advantages feel a little bit guilty sometimes, Tommy. It's not the same thing. You know, they're bored, they're rich, they're spoiled, right? They've been handed things that their parents fought and died for, but they don't place any value on them. So they don't think they have any purpose in life, and they join radical causes, gives them something to believe in. They believe in something, so they pick mass murder? Huh? What sense does that make? No, I'm not defending him. Yeah, I know. It just irks me, that's all. I mean, we have to go against these maniacs with one hand tied behind our backs because we have to play by the rules and they don't. Well, it's crazy. I say fight fire with fire. Fight terrorists like terrorists and they've won. They become just the way they are. Oh! Oh, it's right, right, right. Kevin, I told you. It's all right, just, just be patient. Sh it's all right. I'll just... Here we go. I want back in a second. No, don't touch it. I'll call an electrician in the morning. And the anchovies look like they're still alive on this thing. What the hell's that? What are you doing, Tony? Put that down. You know. Not... Well, what if it's my landlady collecting rent? What are you gonna blow her away? I'll lose my damage deposit. Yeah, just go in the other room. Get in the other room. Hey, what, hey, what the hell's going on here? What do you people want? I am interested in something you have. Some information. Something of mine has gone missing, and I want it back. Something very important. Hey, well, listen, this isn't the lost and found, OK? I can't help you out. A box. A wooden box with some very valuable things inside. A wooden box? Hey, geez, it doesn't ring a bell. You know what I'm saying? I can't help you. Mr. Perna has told me that if anything goes missing, you will know where it is found. Yeah, well, you know what they say, huh? Can't believe everything you hear. Come on, lady. Hey, I got a cleaning lady. She comes in once a week. What's going on? Hey. I get it. Uh, you guys are from the tax department, huh? Well, you know what it is? I didn't file. Is that it? You know what? I didn't make as much money as I thought I made last year. Shut up. There's nothing. We're wasting our time. You wouldn't waste our time, would you? No, not at all. Listen, uh, I said I wasn't lost and found, but uh, I get lucky sometimes, you know? Is this one of the times? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sure thing. Look, I've got some ideas where I can find your stuff, you know? <laughs> How lucky do you think you are, little man? Look, I said I can get it for you. I just need a little bit of time, all right? 
three hours. 18th and Elm. Be there. <laughs> on my head. They're the ones that killed Nikki. Yeah. No kidding. Ah, easy, 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 yeah. easy. I think they busted my ribs. Oh, just put me over here. It's all right. Ah, ah, oh, Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Tony, come back here! Why in the hell didn't you tell us that Tony was here? Look, he told me he was just going to stay here till he cooled off. I mean, how the hell was I supposed to know that the uh, Gestapo was going to show up? What do they want? They want me to find their guns for them. And if I don't, Broomhilda there is going to blow me away. Man, how the hell did I get into this, huh? You got into this because you didn't uh -huh. listen to what I was telling you to do. I was trying to play everything so damn cute. Yeah, give me a break. Save the lecture, huh? All I want to know is how do I get out of this? I can put you in protective custody. Oh, please. I said out of it, not in it. How am I going to help this kid from the inside of the cell, huh? Well, you can't help him on the outside either. I mean, we can't keep armed guards on you 24 hours. These people are ruthless. They killed Nick, they killed his father. Hey, you know something, Jambone? Huh? I already figured that much out. Hey, do they want a deal for the guns? Yeah, yeah. All right, make it happen. What? Take him to the guns, and we'll be there. What are you talking about? Use me as bait? No, no, we'll use the, we'll use the guns as bait. Oh, I see. Well, what the hell does that mean? What does that make me? Well, I mean, what am I, the hook? <laughs> so funny. What's so funny? All the choices I have here. I mean, if I set it up, I get blown away. If I stay here, I get blown away. That is about the size of it. Are you in, Arthur? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm in. Okay. Hey, what about Tony, huh? We better hope that we find them before they do. Thanks. Why don't we hit them as soon as they make contact? They picked the spot. I don't want a gun battle on the streets. I want to get them in the circumstances where we call the shots. All right, we wait for Whitey to call, then we set up. That's uh, all we can do. There's nothing left to do except get it straight in our heads. Okay, the car's here. Two sharpshooters are here. Colby's here. Kevin, you and Carson, you stay on top of Frank. Whitey, he sets him up as the guy with the guns. As soon as you make contact with our German friends, you bring him back here where we've got the car, and we take him. Now, what if they don't let me lose Whitey? Well, then we got no choice. We've got to go along with it. Just get him clear as soon as we can. Stevie, get in contact with the harbor master. Find out which ships are in, which ones are leaving the next 24 hours. What are you thinking, sir? Well, they can't drive the guns back to Germany. Can't put them on a plane. They're too closely checked. Just look into it, okay? Everybody got their assignments straight? Hi, Tommy. Hi. Hi. What do you got on this kid, Tony? He's got an APB out on him. Checking with all his known friends and associates. Well, let's hope he doesn't end up like his friend. Or for those two stumbling into this thing, the whole thing would have gone on without a hitch wouldn't have these corpses on our hands, either. No, but somebody else would. I mean, they're not buying all those guns for a parade.
We're on. YX75MO. Nice and quiet. Good. We're set here. Let me know as soon as they start to move. Seem like friendly types. Gaddafi's got friends like that. They're with Whitey. Who has the guns? They're right over there in the car with a friend of mine. No tricks. No games. Hey, I'm a very serious kind of guy, you know? Hi, how you doing? You have something for me? Maybe you got something for me? Where are the guns? Large wooden crate about this big? Enough. Let's finish. Hey, what's the hurry? Your friend is very nervous. For good reason, as you well know. Yeah, well, he's the nervous type, not me. Look, I don't like to rush something, so when it's important. You know, you can make mistakes, you know what I mean? You have what I want. Let's not do anything stupid now. All right, so let's take a nice and easy, one step at a time. Maybe you can't do business. Maybe you haven't got the guns. Maybe I should just kill you. You and your friend. Do you like that better? Then you're not gonna get what you came here for anyway. I'm still gonna have the guns and you're not. And I got lots of them. Just like the one you got under your coat there. Look, who are we kidding here, huh? Let me see the money, and I'll let you see the guns. Free enterprise, yes? Lady, nothing in this country is free. That's too bad, because we don't have money. You got no money? We got no deal. Come on, we're wasting our time here. We have something better than money. Nothing's better than money, lady. All right. How are you talking? Okay, let's go. You take this bag, you give us the guns, we do it right here. No, hold on a second, not here, not in front of all these people, no way. They're trash, nothing. Hey, I don't know if you jerks were followed here or what. I mean, you could be cops, you know what I mean? We were not followed. Hey, well, it doesn't matter, okay? I love to do business with you, but I ain't got the guns down my pants, you know what I mean? So let's take my car. No, you come with us. Tommy! friends needed a car to impress some girls. They picked the wrong one, and suddenly a whole world of gun runners, drug dealers, and bloody terrorists came crashing down on them. An ugly world in which the most important thing you can have is a good friend. Look, Whitey, I owe you for this one. Yeah, you 
You better believe it, Jambo. I won't forget it either. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Right, don't worry about it, man. You're okay. You okay? All right. yeah, I'm okay. You okay? Yeah, I've had better nights. Sometimes a friend is just the guy at the corner newsstand who says hello every morning. Sometimes it's someone you've known all your life. Well, 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 it's about time you guys showed up, huh? Where you been? Oh, Eddie? oh sorry. Oh, hell, don't you get somebody looking after you so hard. You know, I'm Lieutenant, sorry, dental right? surgery could be very no, dangerous. Shut up. Oh, oh, come here. Oh, all right. And sometimes it's just a bunch of guys who work together every night. And I feel